counted down on a website that has a countdown. Oh. You're about to listen to a podcast full of wonder, excitement, and discovery. It's time for an adventure through Odyssey. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Adventures Through Odyssey podcast, Odyssey Revisited. I'm Will here with John, and this is a special bonus episode. Where we're we are going to do a little September roundup, yeehaw, where we talk about the September Club episode, a few new club things, and the album 74, I think it is, description. Plus our thoughts on the artwork. So, I think because this was released last week, we might as well start with... Album 74, Buckle Up. So the artwork is fine. Yeah. It's certainly interesting. I mean, yeah, I'm... Do you think it's... There's actually... And probably in the description, they may have mentioned that. Do you think there's actually going to be something at an amusement park? Maybe. But they've made, like, album covers that had nothing to do with an episode before. That's the thing. I feel it feels weird. I did we address? Did we talk about this personally, or have we mentioned the art on the podcast briefly before? Because I feel like it's weird in the back that it's like Connie and Wooten. We've talked about it. We have not done an episode on it, but I don't disagree. <laughs> also- it just feel it feels like you know Wooten has a a wife because. <laughs> well, based on the description, I think they only, aside from Eugene, wanted to use characters who are in this album. Yeah. So, although if you listen to the club episode, you know where Eugene is now. So. Well, yeah, that, it's kind of it's sad. I know. My only thing is, everyone else looks like they're either thrilled or having a good time. Wit just kind of chilling over there. I, Wit can't show too much emotion. I feel like in odd, he he can be happy. He can be surprised. But have we ever seen Wit look scared? I guess, like, people could argue the cover of Album 2, The Case of the Secret Room album cover, he was scared. I feel like that's a little more surprised. Okay. Now, and I have seen the theory bouncing around that it's called Buckle Up, because we're going to get a Jules and Buck episode addressing the relationship. I mean, they could. I'm... You know, I I had thought they had addressed their relationship when he came out on stage in front of a whole audience and, like, sang his love to Jules, but I guess that wasn't them getting together. Apparently not. But, yeah, so, uh, now that we've talked about that, let's go over the description. To this point, Renee and Horace have only appeared in Club Adventures. Not anymore! In album 74, both are back for scientific breakthroughs of monumental proportions, but there's a does catch. It say, wait, does it legit say that in the description? <laughs> yes. They're listening to us. You've complained about it for, like, two months, and they're like, add something that this is a big deal. They, The fans know there's something up. <laughs> Just saying. But there's a catch. The technology is based on Mr. Whitaker's imagination station, and he didn't give them permission to use it. Will Renee Mm -hmm. risk her friendship with Wit for the name of science? So, this is one of the few episodes we have info on. It was recorded in April. So, no, I do not think the script was originally a Eugene episode, because Eugene would just ask Mr. Whitaker if it was okay. Uh, Yeah. I do think it sort of leans into my theory that Renee and Horace are being brought to the albums to stand in for Eugene while they figure out what they're doing. Yeah. So we at least have some science type character. Why do I feel like if they wanted to, they could do something like they're looking through the imagination station files and they're like, what's this? Applesauce? I mean, it's possible. (laughs) I mean, I wonder if if they have any sort of tease to that. Because, I mean, this is a similar, I feel like, feel to, like, the Applesauce oh, yeah. episode. I wonder if they, if they reference it at all. In terms, like, specifically, I wonder if it's because the whole thing with the chairman is going to come back and involve Applesauce somehow. Although, I'd have to question a computer program created in like the 90s or like 80s or probably like when wit had created it was even earlier than that that could actually like have any relevance in the technology of today 
I agree, but if there's a sliding timeline, we could say, oh, this happened a few years ago. Yeah. But I, I don't disagree. I mean, I'll be curious. I'm sure the episode's going to end with Wit saying, Renee, you never have to be worried to ask me that kind of thing. Because it, it or is... Renee gets fired. Well, that's true. But I mean, I am curious because the Imagination Station in and of itself feels like a scientific breakthrough. So. I know. All right, continuing, Olivia's spiritual journey continues. When she gives her testimony at church, big questions arise that she can't answer. How will she handle it? Can she take the next step while still reflecting God's love? Probably. Yeah, I mean, I I guess I appreciate where showing there's always a struggle even after the fact. Yeah. But, eh, sounds like fun. Probably another Zoe and Wilson episode. Yeah. Elsewhere in town, friendships are at stake when Jules and Buck hit a rough patch that could endanger their friendship. Do you think they have a thing about the kids dating? I mean, they're in high school. Have we ever seen a long any kid relationship on Odyssey? I, I feel like I would say no. Like, I'm looking through the characters. And, I mean, there's been stuff about dating in Odyssey, I feel like. Or, like, talking about, like, people being, like, you know, one body. Right. I don't know if we've ever had a long-term, like, kid romance in Odyssey. I guess Connie. Sort of. Connie dating. Right. It, it was, like, implied it took place over, like, a course of time. But in actual episodes, it's not. Like, it always feels very self-contained to, like, one episode. You're talking about Jeff Lewis, right? Yeah, yeah, Jeff Lewis. Yeah, that sounds like it was at least a couple of weeks. But Connie's mom was out of town, so... Yeah. Anyway. Continuing on. Meanwhile, Maury and Susu try to find a healthy path toward making new friends. I thought that's what this whole team thing was about. That's probably what it's going to be. It's going to involve, em- it's going to involve Emily in some way. I don't know if it directly involves Emily. I don't know, but it's at least going to Emily's either. It's going to be about them becoming friends with Emily and fixing the mistakes they made, or they're going to start, or they're going to start it by Emily being like, you guys are awful. And it's like, we got to try to be better friends. And like, they go try to find people to be friends with. That would be a good, I mean, I wouldn't mind a normal Mori episode. It would be a little weird. If we do, if we just keep that thread hanging too much longer, so it Emily be Jay, they should be... try to be friend Jay, and then he joins the team as their distraction or something. I wish. Yeah, just to point this out here, Mori, Susu, and Wit are the only three people listed as characters in the episode. My my assumption is they're just guessing, and that nowhere it focuses on the family. Did they tell them that? That's likely. I mean, do they have a sight check? No. So, yeah. pr- anyway, and Wooten faces a courtroom struggle that pits him against an old friend. So I know it's probably just going to be some childhood friend we never met, but my if it's a character we know, it's probably not going to be Bradford. I wonder if, like, Grady sues him for something? Well, I, I too wonder, is it going to be some weird copyright story where it's like, you infringed on Power Boy, and then it ends with, like, well, Power Boy is just based on the principles of the Bible, and how can you infringe on those? Right. Honestly, what it probably is, there's an episode, I don't remember what one, where Woon talks about he and his friend would sit on the porch for hours arguing about superheroes. It's probably that friend, and he somehow feels like he helped create Power Boy and now wants the royalties. Like, Yeah, my... And Wooden's probably just going to give it to him. I mean, you're probably right. Here, here's the weird thing about that. I feel like if Wooden's friend came to him, it's like, I feel like I'm entitled to some of this. And it's like, yeah, you did help me. Like, I feel like if, like... Right, right. Wooten would not... Has to be... Go right. ahead. You're right. It probably isn't Power Boy related, but you're right. Wooten would just give him the money. So it's probably either Wooten wronged somebody or someone went to the courts without talking to Wooten first. Yeah, it's going to be something like that. Maybe it's Wooten's brother. Well, it says an old friend, and that seems like a pretty... But you might be right. I'm trying to think who else... It could be something like that, you know. Yeah. 
So I'm supr- I don't know if Penny will be in that episode or not. I just hope the message of the episode isn't kids. If your friend becomes really successful of a character you made up when you were kids, just ask him for the money. He'll say yes. Yeah. So Wooten would be willing to give like all his money. <laughs> that's a good point. So, all right. So that wraps up the discussion of this album. Oh, it also says was that was that all six episodes? I thought it was only five. Well, they might not be talking about one. One might be a two-parter. So. Okay. I'm double check. So it just says here, mark your calendar. These adventures and more await. Mark your calendars for December 15th and buckle up. These and more. They're trying to figure out what the Christmas episode will be. That's possible. So the one thing I do like in this description, and I'm sure this is what was posted on the website. They said the date it started on the club. I feel like up until now, they've been posting the day it starts airing on the radio. Mm, that's which smart. is always which is always like a couple months after the club and like we know by now it's like gonna be july and december but yeah well that, those seem like interesting episodes i don't know what exactly is gonna happen but you know yeah it's gonna be fun maybe we'll see how they address eugene other than that have you been reading the odyssey comic i have not unfortunately it's an Edwin Blackard and Buck story. I know. I, I do need to watch. I will read it if you want to give your hot takes on it or we can wait till the next <laughs> well, I, club I think episode it, recap. I'll, I'll just say quickly. I think it's fine. I think it's like these Odyssey uh, Instagram stories where every day they post a new still of an episode. So this one, they were keeping like a secret. We're not going to tell you the title until we reveal something. Connie and Jules go to California to visit her dad and Connie bumps into Chad Pearson. Oh, that's because the other one, because the other one was about Dalton. So I like that these comics and stories are bringing back old characters. They maybe don't want to dedicate one of their 24 annual episodes to. No, I mean, that's fair. I mean, I, I think it's really for the Odyssey diehards. They keep talking about like, I wish they would bring this character back, but they also probably, I mean, one, voice acting can get expensive, especially if they're like, we have to get this person back. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, And, like, at, at some point, like, with Edwin, I think the problem is you bring Edwin back, you bring, like, any of these side characters back, and pe- the expectation is, oh, you're going to, like, bring them back full time. And then you're, you're like, okay, we got to think of an episode within the next year or two that incorporates... Right this character all i'm saying with edwin is the pairing of edwin blackard and jay is something we need to happen it's true jay tries you could just do a remake of the uh midsummer night's dream instead of wooted with jay oh that's a good idea it would be lazy but i would still enjoy it yes so i think all this side content they're doing is I think good, because I also think it's episodes I don't necessarily want to hear on the radio. Yeah. Do we want to talk about this one's club episode? Yes, thank you for keeping us on track. So, uh, let me find it. At the 18th yard line. Or some something like that. There. Sorry, I was trying At to... The, eight, I, the 18 yards or something. Yeah, I completely forgot the title. I was hoping I could just wing it, but I couldn't. The 18 yard line. Young lives are changed dramatically when a heated rivalry on the football field ends in tragedy. Okay. There's a lot here. Yeah, I I feel like Odyssey a lot lately has been going 0 to 60. Yes. Now, let me say this. I think this is a good episode. I agree. It's a good episode. But... It's very apparent, it's just like, whoa, like, obviously these kind of horrible tragedies of someone getting paralyzed on the football field happen. Right. You know, but at the same time, I think this episode could have just been as good as he, as, oh, he broke his leg. Yes. Where, like, there are going to be scouts or something. Right, and I, I think if you break your leg in front of scouts, it's not that big of a deal to the scouts. I could be wrong. Well, but... I think they'd be upset because they're like, we can't see him play, and they're going to question if he's going to be okay. True. 
Casey, when it said ends in tragedy, I thought maybe somebody dies. Probably not. That'd be a little dark. <laughs> maybe a prank goes really wrong. Maybe someone gets injured. I don't know why. The paralysis thing never jumped to my head. Yeah. I mean, it does happen. Uh, now, I will say this. I do think it's very apparent. They wrote this script and then they're like, this is heavy. Add some J jokes to it. <laughs> you see, that's what I thought too. I actually think the episode would have been better if we had dumped the J jokes and given more time to like Cooper riling up the football team or something. Yeah, like I'm like, like even like <laughs> at the midway point, like Jay's not there and they're like, and now here's Jay doing uh with the pep band with Elvis songs. <laughs> Which, to be fair... But you never I, hear him do it. Right. I, I agree. I also love that the announcer was Bob from the Odyssey podcast. I thought that was a nice touch. Uh, that is good. But, um, but yeah, it, it's like... It's even... it's it's It felt weird, especially like given like the whole... Like, falling away from Faith arc. Where, like, they inadvertently through their actions cause this person to die yes that's like not their fault but yeah. like it's like you kind of just did something like this and in some in some ways it's not as bad because obviously the other football player is not dead but in other ways it's worse because they are more directly responsible for it it also right. seems weird they set up, like, them having some sort of beef at the beginning. Yes. I So, clearly the idea is we're supposed to have Cooper feel guilt-ridden because he probably tackled him a little harder because he was being such a jerk at the beginning of the episode. Yeah. At the same time, and I understand we needed some impetus for the episode, I think the episode could have rolled if it was just some football player they never had any contact with. Yeah, I think that would have been better i mean i don't i think you can do that because right he probably is like the implication is maybe he did tackle him harder because of that but that's never brought up he never mentions that in his guilt that like i i tackled him harder than i should have like but they they, they kind of address it like have you thought about what you've done wrong yeah i would agree which is just kind of weird and then like i hate to say it his dad could have been a little more like the dad, like his son's at home worried because he hurts his guys in the hospital and his dad comes home and is like, like, I cannot discuss my patients. So he's one of your patients. We will not discuss this now. And like walks away. And I'm like, your son's like, you have to understand your son is like traumatized. They just tackled a kid that had to go to the hospital. And well, your actually- response is just like, we, you can't even say, like, like, don't, like, don't worry about it right now. Like, right. I, I, it's like hard, but it's also like comfort it could your be, son. It could be a legality thing, though, and right, maybe he could be a little warmer in that situation, but right, right. I'm sure he can't tell him exactly what's happening, but he could like assuage some of his fear. Your dad comes home, who's like a surgeon, and he's like. I'm not allowed to talk about what's going on. Like, super gravely. Yes. Okay, yeah. So, to go back to your whole J-jokes thing, because they basically stop once the kid gets paralyzed, except for one joke at the end. I wish they had junked all of the jokes. Because, let's jump, I want to jump to the end where they, the football team gives up their new weight room to get him this electric bike. Or, Elect- yeah. electrifying bike i don't remember but or whatever it was called um it is obviously that's where the episode was going i i smelled that the moment he said i think the pta gave this to me but i'll get back to that in a second i i guess i wish we could have junked the j jokes for a 30 second scene of cooper talking to the team about it mm-hmm I mean, I guess the thought is we've all seen enough TV shows where a similar type of episode airs where they have to give up the donation money for someone who really needs it. So I'm sure they just, uh, they'll know what happened. But. Yeah, basically. Yeah, so uh, I do, I did do the web quest. So the video for this month was about running your own church car wash, which was such a minimal part of the episode. But the actual. I know, it's it's what's at the beginning. 
It's like, yes. what's the image for the episode is that? And like, I hate to say it, like I finished listening to the episode. I looked at the image and I was like, was there even a car wash in this episode? Exactly. But now the fundraiser, the, like the, the fundraiser, I guess they push is called pages, pages. So the name page and then the word page. Oh, there was one other thing about this episode I'd like to quickly discuss. And it is the seeming writing out of Eugene. Yeah. I know it's a single line, but I do think, so after this month, I, I put that in air quotes, is up, is, are Eugene and Katrina going to move? Is there going to be a whole episode where Buck and Jules have to reconcile their love for each other before Buck goes to England? Are we going to have Eugene come back with a British accent? <laughs> I mean, that would be kind of funny. Yes. <laughs> I feel like this show has a problem that will ryan was very old yes or oldish i he was probably in his 80s uh yeah um and the problem is you started a story where he's gonna be a fi- like i know eugene's not that old but you start a, a story where he's gonna be a father and now you have and you finish that story and so now eugene is legally buck's dad and it would seem, and Buck is like a very big player in where the narrative of everything is. So it seemed very weird to just kind of cut that. Yes, I would agree. And so I don't quite know what you do. Oh, he, he, he was actually fairly young, I guess, in terms of everything. He was 72 when he died. So, I mean, like, I guess he Wait. wasn't, he, yeah, he was? I guess he wasn't that I mean, still getting up there in years, but, like, still died younger than probably expected. Hmm. Well, okay, then. So, right, maybe we shouldn't be, not frowning, but, like, not saying to Adventures in Odyssey, why weren't you looking for a replacement? Mm-hmm. So... But overall, I thought this was a good episode. I guess I wish, because we're on, we're actually about to record the episode where we talk about Karen. And I guess I wish they had jettisoned some of the humor to be just more of a touching episode. I get that almost turns it into a very special episode, like short of having Tom Hanks come in and drink some vanilla. People don't get that reference well. If you got that reference, please email me and I'll shout you out in the next episode we record. All right, that wraps it up. Join us again in October or, or, ugh, where we will tackle the club episode, which I think is Knox on Sacrifice. Because, you know, yeah. that saves some money. We'll talk more about the comics and whatever other fun new Odyssey things are happening. Maybe we'll even find one of those VBS curriculums at a secondhand store. So, actually, if your church has an Odyssey mm-hmm. VBS curriculum lying around, please send it to me. There's three of them. One's just about the night travelers. One's baseball themed. One is Wit, Connie, and Harlow Doyle taking a world tour, which that's the one I'm looking for. Yeah. Okay, so I'm Will. I'm John. We'll see you next time.